This is the reticulated python we picked up on our way home from Tinley. He is a recent rescue of ours, and he came to us with quite a bit of mouth rot. I'll put a link down below of the video of us bringing him home. But today I have to give him an antibiotic shot. We're giving him antibiotics every three days as per our vet's recommendation. And he is not happy about it. He will definitely try to strike me when I try to even touch him. So I'm going to show you my trick for giving them shots. He's a little extra angry today because his eyes are cloudy, which means he's about to shed. The trick is to feed them. We're going to dangle this rat in front of him here. Ooh, he's not hungry. Oh, are you not hungry? Oh. There we go. He was just having issues seeing it, I guess. He you apparently know. wanted you to set it in his mouth for him. <laughs> apparently. But now that he is preoccupied, I can touch him, I can move him around. All he wants to do and focus on is squeezing that rat. So while he's distracted, now I can give him his injection. When you're giving a snake a shot, administer it in the first third of their body. I kind of followed his coils up, and this is in his first third. You also want to give the shot not right on the spine, of course, but just off to the side at a 45 degree angle with the bevel, or the flat part, facing outwards. Finally, you want to inject it underneath the scale. Obviously, don't go through a scale. There we go, he wasn't too happy about it, but he's still distracted by his rat and he's probably blaming that instead of me. And there you have it. One shot down, 10 more to go. Now, like I said earlier, the snake needs his injection every three days. And obviously you don't wanna feed the snake every three days just to be able to give it its shot. So now we're going to show you how to give an injection to a more aggressive snake. Now we're going to give him an antibiotic injection without using a rat as a distraction. This will require two people, one to towel or hold down the animal while the other person gives the injection. So now Ed is going to gently lay the towel on top of the snake so that he cannot see where Ed is. So as you can see, <laughs> he would try to bite. And this also gives Ed a nice barrier in between the mouth of the snake and his own hand. This is called a vet grip, where you're holding the animal behind the head so that you can control where the head is pointed and where it's going. Then you can control where the snake sits too. With the snake now restrained, we can now safely give him his injection. We're going to give it underneath the scale, just as before, 45 degree angle. Slowly push it in. And he's good to go. It might take a little bit of practice in order to get the technique down of how to give shots and how to restrain an aggressive snake, but with practice it's really not that difficult. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Oh boy. A few of ours, he came in with some mouth rot and so we brought him to the vet, got some antibiotics, and he's already in strike pose. He's looking right at me. Um, but do this it. is... You should do a different thing. You should. But he's about to strike. Fine. Just strike every time. I can't believe how friendly he's being. Like, I have him aimed away from me just in case, but this is the least strikey he's ever been. I kind of wish he was. He is still in strike pose. Yes, so. Uh, so we're keeping an eye on him. But yeah, he's being really good. He I don't is. know what it is. He knows that we want him to act up for the video. Yeah, so now he's probably. Not going to.